The stinking weather, boys. Made a trip on down to Barry and I drove through a snowstorm three freaking times. We got a ton of Super ATV gear I'm going through, boys. High clearance radius rods, arms for defenders, box arms for X3, radius rod kits. You name it, we can get it, boys. And we got a lot of her, man. Look at that. We got 34 naders, we got 29 fives. Take a little peek at Roger's uh, about to be home. We've had the lads put out some sets that we have in stock and available right now. A little bit of a rundown here, boys. Getting into her. What do you got, brother? Don't worry about it. You can interrupt me anytime, man. <laughs> the Moto Ravage on the Brutes. Are they for Joe Rabinet? Yeah, Ravage. you like the Ravage, yeah, okay. okay. So that's Joe's. Yeah, no, Collins, the third guy okay. with a Ravage. And a Bru Actually, same setup as Joe's. Okay. Exactly. I'll get them to write up a work order then. Okay, brother, right on. So yeah, let's take a look, boys. Let's get into it, right? What do we got here? We got ourselves a Kimpex brand. This is basically a knockoff version of the Bighorn, same tread pattern. You see them on a lot of side-by-sides. They do great. Price-wise, the Kimpex is a great option, right? So that's a 27 by 9, 14. If you're running like a 700 Yamaha, you're not into too much mud, but you want to be equipped to get through everything then this is probably a great tire for you next in line one of my favorites you guys ask me all the time what i think of these tires well i think they're amazing actually they're a shit ton of fun when these things are brand new they hook up on everything and anything i mean even when the frost comes out of the ground it's just that couple that couple inches on top and i mean you're riding off these things will bite they bite they bite they bite i mean i've, I've won races on hard packed dirt tracks with these babies look at that jalopy man <laughs> that's what i'm saying yeah i'm my kind of driver right there you can't do much more damage i don't think she's already she's already beat so yeah system 3 xm 310s my 31s came in at about 38 to 40 pounds pretty much as advertised at a 40 pound tire so these are very lightweight um very aggressive They'll get through anything. They paw out of holes and stuck situations better than damn near any tire I've ever run. So they get high score for that. Fun factor, through the roof, but you are gonna pay a little bit more to enjoy it. Longevity out of these tires, I think I got about 4,000 on the set in my trailer, and I think I'm gonna actually, got a tire groover coming, I'm gonna practice on them and carve them up, see if we can't refresh them a little bit. But uh, a lot of folks, worry about how they wear the initial wear the rounding off of these uh these treads will happen quickly but you got a lot of lug depth i put four thousand on them and i'd say i still have you know the better part close to an inch on the outside we're getting pretty narrowed down in the top but uh what a fun tire to run if you like to run mud if you like to run hard pack these ride extremely smooth by the way no vibration whatsoever which you would never guess by looking at them Next in line is the Notorious Cryptids that come on stock on all the XMRs. Everybody knows about these tires. All around great working tire. Heavy though. They're heavy for what they are. Um, stock ones that come on your Can-Am units, they call for a 30, but they actually measure 28. But if you order directly, then they actually measure true. So don't ask me why, but the ones provided to Can-Am measure a bit short. But if you order directly from a tire provider through ITP, then I am told that they measure true to height. So again, a great working tire in all conditions. And uh, you'll see, actually, I just did a run through the park and you guys will probably see that before this, but uh, stock 850 XMR followed me everywhere and I'm on a 32 inch Nader. Yeah, you had to work a little harder, but they will get the job done. Oh boy. Yeah, nice 
and easy, nice and easy. There she goes. Some vibration to the ride and they are a little bit heavier. A great all round tire at everything, but uh, amazing in each area, no. But yeah, a great all round tire, the ITP Cryptid. Obviously, I mean, Can-Am put them on the XMRs for a reason, right? So, a little bit heavier though. Light, heavy. This tire outperforms and outshines this one in pretty much every manner except for steering. So, obviously, with the straight cut lugs, you drift out a little bit in the front. So, I mean, come winter riding and uh, hard pack, frost, these can be a bit sketchy in turns where these are really predictable. Turn well, all around, just a little more vibration and a little more weight. Next is a tire I've never run, the Blackwater Evolutions, right? So another ITP brand, but uh, popular nevertheless. I see a lot of guys do run them and like them. So tire weight wise, actually that's really light. Now that's a small tire though. What sizing we got on this? It's a 27 by nine for a 14 inch rim. But uh, yeah, I've not run the Blackwaters, but they look like a great all-terrain tread pattern. I'm gonna guess that they're gonna run quite a bit like Kimpex Trail Trooper, much like the Bighorns, much like the Blackwaters. I really like these tread designs, actually. So another great all-terrain tire all around. Rounded tread profile, I don't know, a lot of guys prefer that. I prefer square profile. I find them more stable when kicking the ass end out, less roll to the machine. So if you're one of those stability guys, maybe you're gonna prefer a square pattern. Um, and a lot of these tires will change their profiles, obviously once they're mounted and once you put some air in them, right? So, but this is definitely a rounder profile tire. ITP, Blackwater's popular tire. I've not run them yet, but uh, they definitely look like they would perform well. Be very curious. Let me know what you guys think, the guys that are running them, right? Give me some feedback. So I've got better feedback to give customers when they call and ask, right? So I mean, uh, I don't pretend to know it all. That's for damn sure. I'm gonna know nothing. But. And then we're starting, I think we're getting back into the EFX brand. Yeah, we are. We got the Moto Max. So again, I've not run these tires. Weight wise, not too bad. What are we looking at? We're looking at 27 or 28. That is a 27, 10, 14 right there. And I would have to say that these are gonna be extremely comparable. They remind me of the Mud Light 2s, basically. So I think that that's EFX's uh, option for that style of a, it's, it's a mud tire. There's no doubt about it. When you see the V pattern like this, you're definitely in your mud terrain. Um, again, I don't know how they work. Love to try them out. Maybe we'll get the opportunity to do that someday for you guys. But I think if you're a Mud Light guy, I'm probably gonna check these tires out. This tread profile, obviously gonna be a good smooth rider because you got contact patch everywhere. But yeah, like I said, much comparable to the Mud Lights. And I think if, uh, I'll have to check out the price point on them, but I bet you anything, the FX brand seems to come in at a very reasonable price point. So probably not gonna gouge you too much on a set of those. And then next we got one of my all time favorites, boys. You guys know all about the Havocs, right? So there's a lot of reasons why I pretty much give Havocs the number one vote for all mud tires. And it's for a lot of different reasons. Um, one of the major reasons is price point. These tires come in quite a bit cheaper than their competitors on a lot of aggressive tires. Like even for the Havocs here, and you can get them in a large size. So you could get like a 31 inch Havoc, at least two, almost $300 cheaper than what you could get yourself a 31 inch XM310. Both very comparable as far as performance in the mud. I'm gonna give it to the Havocs probably for all round because of tire weight. Again, these are extremely light and again, comparable to the weight of these. So these are probably two of your lightest extreme profile mud tires and probably two of my favorite, I might add. Um, this one here, I'm probably gonna prefer a little more for dry summer hard pack conditions. Um, but if you plan on getting into the crap at all, the Havocs are gonna really dish it out, man. So these tires, like I said, price point wise, you can't get a better deal. And I think that's why Havoc sells so well. Um, they back out of crap so well too. So what I find with Havocs, in comparison, I get a lot of questions to these guys right here, the Naders. And I mean, nothing, nothing really competes like a Nader. Um, but if you want to compare, I'm going to go. The overall vote is going to go to the Havoc for, like I said, multiple reasons. Two of the biggest reasons is going to be tire weight and cost. Um, 
soft compound. You run them fairly hard, um, high, sorry, on air pressure. Um, but yeah, these Havocs, they've got a very smooth ride to them. Um, like incredibly smooth, actually. Um, just as good as the XM310, which you probably wouldn't guess by looking at these big lugs. You'd think they rough, but... Uh, and then the other thing is tire weight. I mean, they're seriously a light tire. So I know from personal experience, I've run 18 inch MSA wheels with 34 inch Havocs and actually come in uh, less of a weight. I think I was at about 54 pounds. No, sorry. No, together with the wheel, we were in the mid 60s, high 60s. Nader's coming at basically 60 pounds for just the tire at a 32. So. I was underweight, we're sitting a little bit taller, we were definitely sitting a little bit lighter. And the difference for, for the two tires, I find, um, obviously the Skag, nothing dominates like a Nader. Now, the Havocs are gonna get her done just the same. I find they actually look a little more spicy. They'll move a little slower, they'll throw shit a lot higher. So it, it'll look like you're, you know, gives you excitement. Is he gonna make it, is he gonna make it? He's probably gonna make it. With the Nader, you're moving forward faster. You're moving forward faster and you're cutting better. Um, I mean, nothing really compares to that three inch lug when it comes to really soft material. It's gonna be your number one always. So if you're a guy that's just gotta show up your buddy on that pole, then you're probably gonna be looking at the Naders, right? But if you're looking to put on a show for the folks, throw shit high in the air, still accomplish your mission, save a few bucks, run lighter, run taller, Run smoother. That's why Havocs get my number one. I am running the Naders, and I love them. And you guys know I love them. They're, they're extreme, man. And I'm glad to have tried them out for you guys. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting. Why don't you try the Naders? Why don't you try the We finally tried the Naders. Yeah, they're insane. So we're going to get them into some slot real soon here because the conditions are now kind of ideal. But uh, stay tuned, boys. We've got, we got lots. we got lots planned for you. So next, we're getting into trail. We're getting into trail. These are the Motovators. So, I mean, um, I, I can let the cat out of the bag just a little bit, but uh, these are mine, boys. I've ordered up a trail set. We've been talking about doing this for a long time, me, NOS Boss, and XM Army. Talking for the last couple seasons how we really just need to get ourselves sets of trail tires. So, got a little surprise coming for you, boys. And I just kind of blew it out of the bag, but I guess I can't help it, right? Like, so. Gonna try these out. Can't wait. Looking for a trail option. And we're gonna stick with the EFX brand because, again, cost efficiency. Like, uh, now this is one of the higher, higher end EFX tires, but um, I think it's gonna wear great. I was looking for something that I can burn out plenty of times on, really ride aggressive for trail riding. And I think these are gonna be it, but I can't wait to find out. So I got a set of these going on wheels today. Gonna throw them on uh, some MSS, MSA cores. So I'm really excited to be able to try out a trail tire, man. For Oh, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a nice change for sure. So yeah, that's your Moto Vader. And that's really got a, a good, all-terrain type truck profile to it right so now the motivator actually comes in a nine and a half wide most of your 30 inch trail tires are going to come in at 10. i think acceptable anything under 10 i wouldn't want to go to an 11 and i wouldn't want to go to a 12 inch wide not on my renegade for trail running i'm thinking same size all the way around gives me the option to rotate get some serious life out of them because i think this is going to be a high kilometer tire um, they do feel pretty stiff Actually, they're quite stiff, a little stiffer than I thought. So I'll be interested. Yeah, these are gonna last. I bet you these are gonna wear extremely well. Um, so this one here is actually a 27, nine and a half, 14. So they come in a lot of different sizes, obviously like I think uh, up to 34, if I'm not mistaken. And then they have an RT version. Um, she's a little more expensive. She's a little more, ply. I think it's another, another ply or so, eight ply, I think, but uh, don't quote me again. We'll look into that some, but that, it's going to be my new trail tire, man. It looks killer. I can't wait to try it out. The EFX Motovator, boys. And we got lots of, well, we got some in stock and we got lots on order. So we're going to be stocking up on a lot of this stuff. Then she comes to the old Nader, boys. And I know she's the most favored tire of all you extreme buggers out there. You know what? We should have pulled the bike out, eh? We definitely need the bike out here.
color in the video, you know what I mean? So yeah, there's your 32 inch Naders at 60 pounds, plus the wheels, right? So we got the MSAs on there. And I like MSA because they come in with a very light wheel in comparison, you know? These bead locks are probably not as light as some of the other options. However, we have selected some nice light options with trail tires that uh, we're about to get into. But yeah, so we've covered a few brands here. What do we got? We're going back over. We got the Trail Trooper from Kimpex. We got the System 3 XM310. That is the regular. Also comes in a couple other versions now. Um, you guys know I've got the R's on the 18. Uh, extreme, extreme tire, man. They don't ride quite as smooth as the XM310. The R's actually ride a little rougher. They're pretty heavy. And uh, they're a good tire, but it's, I'm getting away from it. I think I'm going back to Havoc something. I'm not overly impressed with them. I think they're great. I not to pause out better than them. Like, uh, definitely. I love them and they work really good. I like running different tires. I just always have, right? I mean, that's why it took so long for me to run the Naders for you guys, because I mean, you, you guys have seen them in action. He's been running them for, for years, right? Colin's been running them for years. So, I mean, you guys are no strangers to the Naders and neither am I as to how they work and how they handle. And yes, I mean, hands down, if you're looking to show up your buddies, if you're all about, I could just pull a little harder and a little faster, then that's the tire you want to put your bodies in place right there. So again, they are fairly heavy for what they are. Um, there are guys at West that are doing some grooving. I think I'm gonna try my hand at learning how to tire these boys. I, I wouldn't mind shedding some weight off some of these tires. Not just that, but I've got a set of the old XM310s and I might see what I can do about restoring them a bit, you know? But they're still light enough, so. But anyways, yeah. Check out these absolute freaking monsters that Roger ordered up. These are some stickies. These are super ATV warriors, and Roger went kind of crazy. These are huge, man. These are a 3510 by 15, I believe, yes. Yeah, these are for a 15 inch wheel, so hella sidewall, boys, hella grip. These are gnarly. I can't imagine what they would look like on an X3. It's your rock crawler type of guys, I don't. I mean, I'm digging it. I saw a picture of 35s on a 14 the other day on an x3 and the thing looked insane i mean we're talking rock crawling machine right so very very curious to see how this this tread profile would work out for an all-terrain i think great um these are so sticky though it just blows my mind so i also ordered up sets of these obviously in a reasonable size for side by sides and utvs and atvs right so we don't just have the xt I've got a couple standard compounds in a 30 inch by 14. So something obviously way more versatile for, for most units. Very viable trail option, especially. So I think that comes in a 30 by 10 by 14, uh, as well as 15s. I do believe you can get them for 15s as well. And then here's something we're not a stranger to. I ran these on the King Quad back in the day in a 30 inch. My brother let me use his off the old Grizzly, but uh, Troy ran these for quite some time and uh yeah this is your uh your terminator boys super atv so i basically have actually i've got on order i've got the intimidators coming as well so we'll basically have options from the whole super atv tire line which would be kind of cool i'd like to get them all in stock right very popular tires amongst a lot of people these come in a lot of different sizes right so a fairly stiff a fairly heavy but by God, do they ever work good. And I mean, I spun them. I spun them with the clutch kit on a 450 King Quad <laughs> at a 30 inch tire, which was a bit ridiculous, but we did get the job done. They work amazing. Um, they're probably not the smoothest riding tire when you're comparing against, uh, you know, like the XM310 for an aggressive tire or the Havoc. But see, you can see right there how they, they've got a bit of gap there, right? So this one, if it's leading up in a little further, you would have that that contact patch that would probably give you a slightly smoother ride now once you get up to speed obviously they, they ride pretty smooth but uh at a slow crawl they're uh they're a little bit different now see i noticed something the other day when i was looking at these on the website if you look at these in the 32 inch profile and only the 32 inch profile then the side the side some of them wrap all the way down in here with a point and they've also changed the sifes on it i just thought it was really interesting i never noticed it before because obviously i've never seen a set of 32s but uh, uh you know what maybe i'll order a set in just so we can take a look at them they're just a different profile um they didn't do these uh the center sifes the same and then some of these wrap around and into a point all the way down the sidewall right to the bead so you've got every 
so many of them but they look interesting check them out man tell me what you think now that's a slightly heavier tire very aggressive works great probably going to be awesome on any uh any utv really but um but definitely an aggressive tire with some added weight price point not really sure we'd have to look into that but uh a very good aggressive mud tire option and then we're getting back to a trail option here oh these are the hammers right on these are the moto hammers okay so the efx moto hammer i actually almost chose to run those over those but when it came down to it i chose those i don't know i really like the vader but this here to me is like a great option for guys who might like uh maxis liberties it's kind of a similar tread profile but i am noticing right away now that i've seen these in person tread depth is is way different we got way more depth here than we have on the uh maxis liberties so maxis liberties yes quite a bit like it in the truck style profile you know what i mean so you got a 28 10 by 14 here and i'm noticing that they're fairly deep so again a very stiff compound here weight wise fairly heavy fairly heavy i'm betting an extremely well wearing tire just by feeling the compound i can tell used to work a good year back in the day eh, boy so i might know a little thing about tires and compounds right so anyways moto hammers almost ran these but we chose to go with the faders at some point i'm definitely going to try these in the future because i think these are an amazing trail option um but definitely the sidewall see see you got less sidewall here and you got a little bit of wrap here so they're coming out a little bit and you're getting a little bit of traction on the sidewall here but these are definitely a little bit shorter a little bit shallower and obviously when they balloon out it's going to push these out so yeah i'm glad i took the choice that i did but i think guys who are just in love with uh liberties i think that these are going to be a great option um and again efx brand we got great 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 prices so i mean hit us up give us a shout if you're looking for a nice friendly smooth ride these are definitely going to be a good good viable option again and then we're still into the efx brand something a little more aggressive so i've been looking at these for a long time curious as to how they work and then a buddy of mine brad he ran them and he said he was not overall impressed with the smoothness of them now they're a bias ply if i recall um don't quote me but the mtc see what i really like about these is again we're looking at a knockoff tested tried and true pattern from bighorn uh, from Maxis and big horns work amazing I've seen so many side-by-sides uh, accomplish and achieve more than what I thought they would riding on these and uh, guys keeping up with us on big horns all day so very impressive but what I like about them is the depth of the tread so I would imagine these would be a great snow tire again because big horns they seem to work very well in the snow but they've got slightly more aggressive depth in the tread right so you're probably going to get a lot longer out of these that's what i figured they're fairly soft they've got some yeah they definitely got some flex to them so not the hardest compounded tire 30 by 10 by 14 weight wise yeah right on par they're not overly heavy but uh a great looking tire probably going to do well on a defender on a razor on a general i'm probably going to put them more to the work machine i don't know man i don't know again i would really love to try them out and at some point someday i think i will you know great tread profile for sure next on the list the ravage is this the modal ravage efx it certainly is and that tire is a slightly larger we're looking at an 18 inch rim there so we got a real shallow sidewall on that but that is a 32 by 10 r18 that's got some beef to it for a 10 inch wide she definitely looks wide wow sure it's not a 10 and a half my lord she looks chunky no nope, she's a 10. pretty kick-ass tread design fairly stiff a lot of distance so these will clear out really well these are going to be a great all-terrain tire and i think you're looking at good tread wear again here maybe a little softer i think than the vaders yeah absolutely i think a good all-around tire so that's going to be a great trail tire a great all-terrain tire and it's definitely going to deal with some crap if you run into it there's no doubt about it she's going to clear and she's got just enough lug to bite so i'm thinking that's going to be a pretty darn awesome option for trail tires i like how they got creative with the uh in between the lugs here with the patterns eh? very nice so that's a 32 inch ravage boys i think it's a popular tire too actually i've seen uh i've seen a fair bit of them out on the trail but uh i have yet to been able to try them so 
we're gonna definitely we're gonna one of the boys has ordered those up so we'll just see what they think first and uh maybe we'll do a little swappage with the lads and see what we think run a couple different versions do a little bit of a tire comparison damn it's a little brisk out here man where's that sun come on now come on now so that's the moto ravage right there boys next in line roger ordered up a pile of these bf goodrich mud terrain ta so this is going to be an awesome runner obviously side by side utv um you could throw this on an atv too it's got a real rounded profile to it as a utv tire man i think these would be a killer tire for an x3 for sure absolutely weight wise what are we looking at for size here we are looking at let me guess they do them in a truck no we got a 28 10 14 28 10 14 fairly heavy fairly hard compounded so that's going to wear really well you're probably going to get long longevity and mileage out of that one there boys but uh that's a very nice tire actually rog they're pretty kick-ass i can see uh i can see running hard fast on those baby jesus km3 next in line what do we got working our way around we are to the moto force moto force another efx tire boys and this one feels super light obviously it's in a tiny size but uh the compound feels fairly soft too right is it yes it is that's squishy it can it can put a bend on those no problem so 26 by 8 by 14 another 14 inch you don't see a lot available in the 12 inch i think i do have something out here for 12 inches uh zillas probably right the all too popular zilla but uh moto force i don't have a lot of uh experience with these tires i like the little diamonds in between very nice it's got good lug spacing that's for sure so that tire is going to deal with some crap you'll definitely be able to get through some mud on it um very nice but an all-terrain nevertheless for sure right so it's not your mud but an all-terrain right so that's probably a great option though for you guys who are looking to keep it reasonable and maybe not so extreme i can see it fitting like a 450 kodiak or something like that or maybe some of your lower lower cc machines for sure because they're going to spin those pretty aggressively then we're getting into some of my old favorites here look at that boy she's the maxis zilla we ran these on the old king quad uh it's a great tire um what did i pay back in the day i think i had a set 28 it was around 900 bucks or something like that maybe a little more i can't quite remember but but a great tire works awesome for your lower cc bikes the zillas are very soft they're fairly light actually they're quite a bit they're quite lightweight so that's a huge plus to them I think my only gripe on my Zillas was I had to carry plug kits no matter what. Because of the soft compound and maybe not such a depth lug. They got a good size lug on them, but for some reason I used to catch a lot of flats. I did with my mud lights as well too, but I mean not knocking tires are great, they perform awesome. And I think a lot of that was just luck. It is what it is, but man, the, the, the two years that I run those tires, Zillas and mud lights, man, I never had so many flats in my entire life, which is fine, it happens, right? It doesn't matter what tire you got. It tends to happen, so carrying a plug kit is always highly recommended in my opinion anyways. But uh, I love the Zillas. I think they're a great freaking tire. If I'm running a single CC 700, 750, um, you know, 450, stuff like that, then I think that is a great tire to do it all and uh it definitely will it's not going to cut through the crap as fast quite floaty they're wide but uh they perform awesome and i can see why the maxis still is such a good seller right and it definitely is i think it's one of maxis probably most popular tires i've been looking at the maxilla and i think they look awesome and i wish they came in sizing big enough and balloony that we could throw them on this actually they very well might we just don't have them in that size i think i got some 27s or something like that but uh I think there's only one set actually and then they might be gone at this point because i don't see them out here right so that's your maxis zilla again a light tire right so this is a do it all type of tire make sure you carry a plug kit though i would have to say because uh if you have my kind of luck you're going to be dealing with it sizing on that one we're looking at a 27 10 14 I like to run them staggered a lot of guys do i ran 12 and 10 so my unit was big time floaty i only had a 450 so the idea was to create float to be able to uh jump off the bike and be able to float through a lot of the extreme crap that i knew that the bike probably just wouldn't power through obviously right so we're not doing the old power through on a 450 suzuki king quad but nevertheless they worked great big fan of the tire um 
great option for your single CC or your single cylinder CC bikes, I think, you know, you're not pulling too much weight. Next up is a gnarly looking tire, boys. This one is, is this not the claw? Yeah, it is. It sure is, man. This is a killer looking tire for all terrain. Adam just bought a set off me and we got a set of these going to the boys to try as well. So I'm gonna get to, to try them. I'm gonna get to swap out with the boys and we're gonna, we're gonna take turns, right boys? So we might as well rotate them. Declare one of them the best, you know? So yeah, the Moto Claw seems to be very popular. We're selling a lot of them. Um, and I can see why too. They've got a great sidewall wrap. So that's going to provide uh, great traction when you're when you're in too deep or uh, you're rutted out. You'd be able to bite onto the sides, right? So I think that's a kick-ass all-terrain tire. I really look forward to see what, uh, what the old NOS boss thinks of them. Um, I tried them out. They feel great. Uh, I was, what, in Adams? We just were set on Adams uh, with a set of cores too, I do believe on the uh articat that we did the uh, long travel suspension kit on for super uh, super atd but well, that was a wicked night and uh we threw on the cores at 30 14 inch core with 30 inch moto claw by 10 i do believe these ones are coming in a 10 wide right yeah they are so kick ass they're fairly soft so they've got some flex to them i expect that these are going to deal a little bit better with some of the shitty mud situations then maybe not these two are going to be comparable and i look forward to finding out which is going to be better in the soft crap out of the ravage and the moto claw i think they're both going to be great these two tires i think are going to trail very well and allow you to deal with pretty much anything that comes up in uh the mud terrain type factor i mean you may not be spinning through the dookie but you're probably going to skip over and pile out just fine with these two tires versus the ones i'm going to be trying to run right here um but they do got some depth and they've got a little bit of spacing but i'm not looking to deal with mud i'm looking for a wicked ass trail runner and i have a feeling these are going to be a lot of freaking fun on the renegade we should be able to bounce that front end i might have to play with the clutching a bit as we all probably will but uh yeah bang 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 we're looking at the moto claw we got the moto ravage and we've got ourselves a motivator and we are going to do a tire shootout with nos boss and xm army all three of us have grabbed up a trail tire this year enough talking about it and it's been years of talking about it in the garage and drinking beers maybe we should grab a trail tire you think so yeah, we do a lot of sometimes we'll do we'll go on these runs join in on the rallies you're doing over 100k let me tell you 100k on the naders is a bit rough even on those you're doing a lot of skating and you're doing a lot of drifting and you know it's it, it, you just i know it's going to be a relief and i just think we're going to be bouncing these things to the sky all day long right so that's kind of what we're looking for is just getting a real fun tire on there right so that takes us past the claw now and uh actually the claw i think is a fairly well weighted tire not bad but like i said we got some we got some flex we got great sidewall coverage we got a really nice gap in between lugs so i, I think all-terrain tire i have a feeling this one's gonna maybe outshine maybe but we're gonna find out for damn well sure right so 10 wide 10 wide and a nine and a half all in 30s let's find out we're gonna find out boys so stay tuned big time popular seller we were just talking about them here's the mud light now i ran the mud light xxls so they're a bit fatter and again i think what was i i was running a 26 with a uh was it 11 9 i feel like it was a 12 10 once again the same that i ran on no no i think they were all the way around 10s anyways they were the xls I know these are the Mud Light 2s and they seem to be very popular nowadays, uh, sell a lot of them. So I mean, I'd be curious. I got a lot of flats with these two, but I found these to be quite a bit of a stiffer compound than the, oh yeah, are they ever. I mean, this is an extremely soft tire, the Zilla is. So again, yes, carry plugs. This one, I did catch a lot of flats, but I think it was just because of, uh, you know, the lack of depth and catching stones and, uh, you know, nails, whatever you know so versus like the big mud tires I, I never get flats with these never had a flat on those i never had a flat on those and i have yet to see flats on these and i think it's just because of the depth right you're getting three inch lug two inch lug two inch lug at the edges or maybe the havocs are two and a half i can't remember i think two and a half outside two and two in the end 
but you're getting that distance off the ground so you're just not contacting stuff in between so much harder to get a flat on a big old mud tire it certainly is but it's also a lot harder to get traction too so and a smooth ride actually that's not true because now they deliver such smooth riding mud tires that you can't get the smooth ride so don't i take that back take your back boys but the mud light too right here this one is what do we got this a 27 11 12 so here you go 12 inch and that's probably why they're such a good popular tire too because they still come in the 12 right available for those smaller cc bikes you know um i don't know what's still coming with the 12 inch wheel on it i think everything's dishing off 14 these days even the young lads honda i think ha no the honda's come with the 12 you're probably looking at the suzuki's probably still come with the 12 don't quote me i think yamaha's bumped up to 14 but no maybe not but maybe we'll look into it boys last but not least on the list what do we got or should we say a little more about the mud lights because they do work extremely well i didn't find much i couldn't get through i never got through in a hurry did have float to it harder compound than the zilla but really worked well for me on again the single cc bike with just a 450 it was a great tire i threw an itp tire uh wheel on there that my brother had from his grizzly and that lightened the combo quite a bit but um a great all-around tire for sure you can't uh i think these are two of your best selling tires out there to be honest with you until nowadays where it seems like those badass things fly off the shelf faster than anything else for good reason like i said cost point and uh lightweight all of it performance it, it, there's a reason it's the best selling tire for sure all ready to be shipped out boys done right on there goes the last set of 28 inch havoc so we got more on order so don't worry but uh man like i said fast fast selling tire unbelievable really we are back to the Kimpex version of the Zilla tire. So you can see just how similar this tread profile and obviously this tread profile are. They're exactly the same, except for maybe you're, you're losing these little, little tiny spots here. Every other lug, they've got this little pyramid here. But basically, well, no, not basically. They're identical in every way. So you're looking at a Zilla knockoff. And I'm guessing the price point is going to reflect that. So this is a Kimpex brand. They call this the Mud Rider. And if you're looking for that Zilla, you love that Zilla compound, let's see. Okay, so right away, much stiffer. So this compound feels quite more, although the lug is just as soft, but the compound is certainly stiffer and more comparable. To, yeah, absolutely. More comparable to the compound of the mud light so you're probably going to get slightly better wear off of this tire than you are off the zilla and i'm betting that they're going to come in cheaper as well scythe depth yeah pretty much the same comparable maybe a little shallower here which would add a little more rigid rigidness to the uh the lug but uh what's the mud rider come in at size are we boys we are 26 9 by 12 so another 12 inch wheel option right mud lights mud riders options 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 boys so yeah aside from really getting a scale out i've tried what a few of these brands right we've tried the terminator i've run i've run the assassinator now i've run the havoc now we've run the xm 310s and we've run the cryptids obviously because they come stock on everything that i get so not too many tires here that i don't have some well yeah there is there's lots of tires that i don't have any experience on but i mean we can gauge we can tell really for the most part what they're going to do but when you get them all together and you try them all out in the same situations then you can really kind of give a little more feedback so that's what we're going to do here right shortly with uh, a couple of these efx brands i'm loading up today and i'm going to do some deliveries so we're going to be a ripping sooner than later boys but uh that's the rundown I could throw them on a scale for you, but I guess I got really nothing to compare. We got all different sizes. So there's not a whole lot of point in that, but I do know from experience, XM310s are extremely light for a mud tire. Havis are extremely light. Yeah, we're looking at heavy. They're heavy, badass tires without a doubt, but they get the job done like no other, really. Another solid heavy tire, but again, they work good, man. These are gnarly. These 35s, I just can't believe it. I would love to try the whole rock bouncer setup this time around. Like I've been looking at some videos and uh, 
up rock sillas. That's a max of tire too. My god. Do they climb rock well? I'm getting all over my shoulders. I'm getting a bit of a chill, boys. I'm gonna go inside and warm it up. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the, the walk around, the little uh, the little video of uh, looking closer and in depth at some of these tires that we've got in stock. And uh, like I said, we can get and we have a lot more coming and on order. But uh, we have access to high lifter tires. I think we have access to inner coat tires. There's, like I said, not many brands that we can't get our hands on. So whatever it is you're looking for, don't hesitate to give us a shout out here at the shop. You can email me at uh, joebentwhitetire.com and uh, we'll be glad to uh, give you guys a quote. Look up and see what we can get in for you. And, uh, we ship two boys. Me and Roger are gonna go out. He's gonna show me his new pad. They've got some property. They're building a house this year, so I brought the Renegade up so we could kind of tour it. He's got his new little 570 out there. I think he's got a little pole pole, but uh, it should be pretty kick-ass, man. So we got the be all cleaned up. Right on, man. Well, that looks nice. Some fuels. Very nice. Definitely dresses are up just a touch. Right on, boys. We'll get back to you. Look at this snow. Freaking snow. Can you believe this shit? Snow bot. I know. Hey? I know. Oh, that's pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool. Yeah, man. There's a good variety of tires. There is a great variety of tires. We even have some 12 inch wheels here, too, which was nice. Yeah, there really is, eh? Long tires, trail tires, light tires, heavy tires. Aren't they gnarly?